Yeah, it was a, it was it was a tough afternoon, and obviously, um, pretty young team going out against a pretty experienced Bath team to to front the game. But I thought the boys hung in there. Obviously, there's a fair bit to work on, and again, going into Leicester, we, we've got another group work in that we'll go to Leicester on Friday, and we definitely need to tidy up a little bit of our set piece. Um, but I think there were some decent performances. That Cody Allen played pretty well. It was good to see Hucky back in. I thought McCusker really sort of barred up in around what is a pretty inexperienced team in large aspects. It was great to see Dimitri have at least 20 minutes, but it was unfortunate to see him go off as nothing major and then losing Harry early doors. But again, we're hopeful that those are minor, not, not major injuries. So yeah, it's, it's been a good experience. I think as some of the younger boys, probably the realisation in, in the gap that it is to play in um, a top end sort of premiership team. But yeah, there's, there's, there's a couple of decent things now, but there's definitely a few things we need to tidy up on ready for Zebras in two weeks' time. Yeah, he's been kind of a little bit of a, a back issue, um, nothing major, but we, we got him into the game, he's in the change rooms, he's pretty comfortable at the minute and I think it's, after being out since around January last year, I think it's good for him just to get some minutes under his belt and in around the, the physical contact, I thought he looked pretty decent the first 20 minutes and we'll just get him recovered now and hopefully potentially he could feature on Friday. Yeah, he, he is big for us and obviously we, we'll have a couple of boys back into selection going into Friday. Hassel come back in, Sam Parry will hopefully come back in and then we're not too far away um, with Fonatia, Tipperick, King, not too far from coming back and I see these boys. So yeah, it's, it's as much as it's disappointing, it's always disappointing to lose lose any game, but I think in around the experiences Will Jones have had, it was just a shame Josh Cole pulled out before kickoff. but again, Another experience for James Ratty to go out there, even Phillips making his debut, played a bit of premiership last year. I thought he held up pretty decently in fairness. And like I say, it's it's a real good test going up against a pretty experienced Bath pack and we, 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 the, the young guys will learn plenty from it. Yeah, the conditions are not great, but I think even in the conditions, I think if we tidied up our set piece, we still have had opportunities in decent areas of the field. I think we're a little bit sloppy, um, and you probably look at basic error count individually, it's, it's way too high, and I know that sounds pretty generic, but if we can't take high balls or we move the ball across the, the whitewash too easy, then it's something that you're never going to have enough opportunities to score, and probably was it I, we were down at half time but it, it could have been a little bit heavier for Bath in fairness to them so it's something that but we battled back we scored two tries at the back end some like I say some nice individual moments but ultimately I think there's there's still a hell of a lot of work to do ready for Zebras in two weeks time No I don't think so I think it's obviously it's, it's hard to put in young inexperienced players you look at Ivan Garth Thomas is coming in then you've got sort of Will Jones from 20s then you've got Coley and Ratty these boys playing young Tom Williams Owen Watkin coming back with speed young Phil Jones playing full back against a pretty experienced and ruthless outfit in, in Bath but like we say we got we've got Leicester on Friday and we we'll, like you like said Dan Evans Hassler you'll have Keelan probably we'll, we'll get a start Sam Parry be back in the mix Harbers will come back into the mix. You'll have Ollie Cracknell, Dan Baker, Bradley Davis, Dimitri Ophi will get another run. Scott Otten will come back. As I mentioned, Sam Parry, RC, Nicky will get further down the track. And then hopefully the week after, we'll have the likes of Tips potentially available, Kingy, Kieran Fonatia. So, we, we, like at the end of the day, there's a lot of players not playing. We've got to take it for what it is. Ultimately, disappointed we didn't win the game. But I think it was, it was a good experience for some of these young kids in the harsh reality of top end sport, the, how, how you can get torn up if you don't do the individual basics correctly. How do you think uh, Corey and James are combined? Yeah, I, I really liked it. I thought Corey defensively was, was really good. Um, I thought he chased kicks really well and I think there's a good understanding. I think he's got a good feel and understanding for how we want to play. So I'm really pleased with Corey. He's starting to cramp up and hooky. Yeah, he just sees it and you see the, the little dink from set piece at the back end. He understands the game, but I think we probably didn't give those boys a platform to really apply themselves in attack, but I thought defensively, Hucky and Corey applied themselves really well. Yeah, yeah. Um, with so much competition, how how positive is that for you to see James come back into the team yeah, look, Hucky, he's trained a lot of 10 and 12 throughout the summer and again, we could play him 15, so it's, it's always great to have that sort of armour and, and sort of selection headaches around it and I think Luke Price has done really well as well, so it's something that he's coming up and 
We're hopeful Sam Davis will be there thereabouts for the Zebras game as well. He may be able to feature in that game, um, depending on how he's coming back from from his groin. But again, we've got, like we say, some selection headaches, hopefully further down the season as well. And it's great to have someone's hooky's experience and he can slot in wherever we, wherever we need him to play. Yeah, it's, it's a little. I think it's a lot about nothing. If I'm honest, it's something I, I'd signed a couple of seasons ago for for an extended period of time. It's and I think the way it's probably come out, it looks as if it's an extension from now. But it's ultimately signed into a five-year deal two years ago. Quite positive for you to have that comfort, comfortable to know that you've got trust in above. Yeah, I think so. Like it's. It's great, and obviously being at a great club, and obviously through throughout the time we've come here, there's obviously a lot of things that, um, have, well, sort of recruitment-wise and things, bringing a lot of young guys through, and obviously there was a low point probably finishing eighth the year before, and I think bringing Brad Davis has helped. There's a lot of change um, throughout the cycle of being here. Um, I think the year um, the year before that, a young team got to semi-final, and last year. I think there was a real improvement for the year before, albeit there was a disappointing end to the season for us, but I think a lot of young kids are coming through and in particular the development of this club do is, is, is really pleasing and I'm, I'm really pleased to be part of that.